Good morning, Spencer. In your last video, you asked me to make a video about how to be John Green, so that's what this video is. I'll be in John Green, it's just not about talking fast, because sometimes John Green slows down when he's really making his point, and then when he's done making his point, he ends like this. Now, when being John Green, sometimes you have to talk about current events going on in the U.S. slash the world, such as Eric Snowden or their George Zimmerman case. But I'm not going to talk about either of those today. Today, I'm going to talk about a story that's very much linked to John Green. So there's this two-year-old girl named Hazel, currently battling cancer in a hospital. So her family, in thinking about ways to pass the time, decided to put up a sign on the window that says, Send Pizza. Now, no pizza is being sent until someone takes that picture and posts it on Reddit. When the internet is like, yes, we want to send this two-year-old girl who has cancer named Hazel Pizza, so they send her all the pizzas. The internet sent so much pizza that it fed all of Hazel's family, all the kids there, all the staff, even the security guards and everybody working in that hospital floor. The doctor said, please don't put up any more signs. We don't want to be in flood with more free pizza. If you want to read the story for yourself, there's a link to it in the doobly-doo. Also, be John Green, you have to be very well read. You have to read broadly, not just in one genre or the other, not just short stories, but long stories and poetry. Unfortunately for me, I do not read that much. In fact, to show you how much I don't read, I'm going to show you a tour of my library. Also, sometimes John Green gets off of his chair and goes and shows people things, so that's why I'm showing you my library. As you can see here, we have end table books and books based on comic strips. We have our manga section. Behind that, we have just assorted authors based on category, such as religious or... I think a mystery. Here we have my row of current authors that I like to read, whether it be Joshua Porter, The Hunger Games series, or of course John Green's own novels with Looking for Alaska all the way stuck here in the corner. Back here we have even more books. It's kind of dusty. As you can see back here, I have The Lord of the Rings and I'm missing the two towers. I have no idea where it is. Along these literary lines, I am going to recommend a book for you to check out. One of my favorite current authors, Joshua Porter, recently released his new album called Cannibals. It's a sci-fi story involving a tribe of bunnies in a post-apocalyptic world. You can find a link to the book in the doobly-doo. Also in being John Green, it's important to check your puff levels. Unfortunately for me, I have none. So I like to check my beard levels, which are at an all-time high or all-time low, depending on how you look at it. Also being John Green, it's important to show off your cute animal, which luckily I have a corgi. Corgi. One more thing about being John Green, it's just important to make compassion speech that gets people to think about something that they haven't thought before, or think it in a way that they haven't thought about. Spencer, the thing is that I feel like I'm more of a Hank Green than a John Green myself. In our little quixotical project that we have going, I feel like you're more of the John Green type, and I'm more of the Hank Green type. It could be that Hank Green is more of the obviously nerdy type thing, and he got his degree in science, and I'm getting my degree in science. I see a lot of people talking about how they want to be John Green, but me personally, I want to be Hank Green. Also, have you ever noticed that John Green talks with his face, while Hank Green talks with his hands? Though, of course, the most obvious thing is that we shouldn't try to be a John Green or Hank Green, but we should try and be ourselves. Try and find how we're different than other people, and try to show off our unique personalities. So instead of trying to be a John and a Hank, we should be a Spencer and a Roddy. Spencer, I'll see you tomorrow. Business casual. Welcome to my end screen. If you've been wondering who Spencer is, he's my friend that I vlog with. On the bottom right hand side of this page is a link to his YouTube account. On the top right hand side of the page is a link to a playlist that I've created where I've collected the vlogs that we've been sending to each other over time. 